Hello, my name is Taylor Jansen, and for my book this week, um, I chose Moon Over Manifest. This is written by Claire Vanderpool, and it won the Newbery Medal in 2011, and it also won the William Allen White in 2012. Um, the illustrator for this cover, the jacket art was by Richard Touchman, and the design was by Vicki Sheetsley. It was published in 2010 and is historical fiction. It's got about 350 pages and I think it's appropriate for probably about the fourth grade reading level. Um, it has quite a few words per page and that's on every page. <clears throat> So for my summary, the main character is Abilene Tucker, and she's sent away by her father Gideon to live with one of his childhood friends, Shady Howard, and they go to live in, she goes to live in Manifest, Manifest, Kansas with him. There she meets some pretty interesting people. She makes some new friends at school, Letty and Ruth Ann, and she meets Hattie May, who's the journalist of the local paper, which is important to some clues later in the book, and Miss Sadie, which is a fortune teller who also gives her some clues to the mystery that she's trying to solve. So when she moves to Manifest, um, she finds some letters that gives her a mystery. Uh, the plot of this story is Abilene's this young girl who's sent away by her father, who works for the railroad, um, to live with a friend of his and she spent her whole life moving from town to town so this is unusual for her so upon arriving to manifest um and in when she is in shady howard's house she finds a box of letters and other items um that she wants to figure out you know where they came from and who the person is in the letters so she goes to school and she meets her summer friends, Letty and Ruth Ann, and they are helping her solve this mystery. But as they begin to dig deeper, someone is warning them to stop looking. So Abilene gets led to Miss Sadie, as I mentioned before, to retrieve something she had lost, which was her father's compass. And when she meets Miss Sadie, she offers to read her fortune and she also gives her some clues to the story um, that she is trying, trying to solve. And in the end, Gideon, Abilene's father, was the man behind the letters, and he believes that his friend's death from the war was all his fault, and he thinks that he's the reason that everyone around him dies. So Abilene convinces him otherwise and helps him to join, or ask him to join her in Manifest. The setting is in Manifest, Kansas in 1936, and the theme of the story is... Um, about secrets and grief. So I think this is a great book for older students and it's really an intriguing mystery. Um, it can teach them about grief and how long-term suffering and pain is unnecessary. They just need to speak with someone and how um, just talking to the right people can make them feel better. And my activity was to do a sequencing chart. I thought it would be kind of fun to follow along with the main events and the sequence that they happen in and have the students also try to solve the mystery in the book.